and welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots R&R Collectibles. Hello and welcome back to another epic Marvel Ultimate Collector Scale action figure review. And remember this is a fourth scale. This is a huge one. This is like the Deadpool and the Kratos that I did before from NECA. It's huge and it looks excellent. It looks awesome. You look at the cover right here. You can see right there he has a little sonar thing going on there going throughout the box. Um, the cover looks cool. Even there on the side it says this is a Billy Club, uh, Super Posable, Bonus Features, and everything's in Braille. Under it is in Braille. It looks freaking awesome. Love the font right there, the classic font, Man Without Fear. And up here, you can see the Daredevil right there. And it says number two now. Number zero should be the original Deadpool. I think number one is the Uncanny X-Force Deadpool, the gray and the black fourth scale. And now we're here with the uh, number two. So very cool, very awesome. Take a look at the box. You see right there. Right there on the side, it sees kicking someone, has some escrima sticks, and look at him looking all Bruce Lee-ish like right there. It says a grappling hook with cable. Everything is in braille too, very cool. And right here it says a short cable nunchucks. And down there it says long cable nunchucks. So, and this cable is awesome. It's like a bendy metal wire thing. It looks very cool, very awesome. Look at the back right here. Right there looks very comic book like you can see him and there's that bendy wire I'm talking about I would love to put him in this pose I don't know what, what stand to put him in but um, I'll try to figure something out So Deadpool all in braille it gives him a little uh, description right there if you want to here Let me bring a little bit closer Want to see it there? Pause it? Read it? Good alright cool uh, He's right there Now he's kind of heavy too uh, Let me get him right there Like see right there he says uh, bow staff his cool accessories plus with the unmasked and here's him blind or unmasked and he, you can also turn the bow staff into a walking cane so it has tons of accessories I can't wait to open them up and also here at the bottom has a cool daredevil symbol and at the bottom has people to thank right there and some uh, cautionary stuff plus you know cool little symbols of NECA so uh, that should be it. Now for the best part, let's uh, take him out the box. And here is Daredevil straight out the box and he looks incredible. My hat's off to NECA on this one with another great figure. You can see the scuffs on his armor plates there on his arm. Like he's taking some hits, guarding himself from some katana blades or something, right? And also the lining on his suit looks very modern the way how they did the linings on the suit. And plus you can see the shading on his, uh, on his actual body and muscles so you could actually it's actually coming out of his suit. You can see the real definition there. So that's great de detail with them as well. And also this distinguished DD on his chest for Daredevil. That's classic. So uh, on top of that, um, let's take a closer look at him and his articulation as well. Okay, now here's a closer look at his face. And you can see there, like I said, about the lining on his suit. It looks very, uh, very modern, like it's the... Uh, sewn or stretched or put together even the horns right here our horns are kind of sharp actually yeah so careful with that see right there more lining and what i like about the skin is you can actually see the pores on his skin just like the other NECA figures looks very cool very detailed he has the stone chin right there look at the hardcore chin very cool he has his ears right there within the suit he could look up pretty pretty well actually compared to the other characters that's because he has a different head too so you got to take the head off so it has to be a little more posable you can see there on the neck he has like a, a belt strap on his neck very cool you see the lining right there his suit the red suit you can see how it's like nailed together and everything very cool nice back very strong back you see right there even the metal the scuffs everything that's metal on him is kind of scuffed meaning that you know he's always out doing his work doing his job see right there very cool I love the detail on this look at that it reminds me of uh, Batman's Arkham Asylum kind of uh, upper upper glove right even here it reminds me of Batman the kind of metal knuckles he has right there very cool highly detailed like right there on his chest the DD nice look at that also put the batons right there all kinds of straps i love how he has kind of the, the shin guards right there because getting hit in the shin sucks big time man see right there the protective the shoelaces even the bottom even has a tread on the bottom so like i said he's very well detailed his arm goes uh about to here not bad pretty good length it goes all the way around as well 
He has double jointed elbows for that Kung Fu super action. Very good, love that. Wrist goes up and down, so it was left and right. And also he has the epic ab crunch. This guy has, look at the abs on this guy, man. You can wash clothes on his abs, dude. Look at that, oh, all those ab crunches. He even has a waist swivel, and I like how the swivel is uh, hidden with the belt. Very cool detail. And uh, let's see here. His legs, he's actually a little more flexible than the other guys. Look at that. Because, um, look at his crotch. No, because the other characters aren't that flexible when it comes to, you know, doing the splits. And, you know, Daredevil is very acrobatic-like. And he has double-jointed knees. Very cool. Oh, and it goes all the way back here. And he has a ratchet, uh, the ratchet swivel right here. And I, I hate it when you have, when they have the... Make that noise, that cracking noise, man. Ah, oh, like it's gonna break. Ah. Also, he has the metal knees right there. Scrape on the knees. And we look at this detail as well. He has ankle pivot as well. Ankle goes up and down. But he doesn't have the toe pivot. Or, you know what? He does. Look, toe pivot. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Ah, I just found that out. Awesome. He has toe pivot as well for that excellent articulation. Now, uh, let's check out his accessories. Okay, and this Daredevil is packed with accessories. Now you can see right here, he has a scuffed helmet, so you can wear the, you know, the headless, uh, or without the helmet, and then you can have him, you know, holding onto this or something, or do some sort of dramatic pose. Very cool, and I'll check the detail on this, man. It's all like scuffed, he got attacked by a cat right there, or something, or I don't know, or uh, bullets grazing, who knows what that is. But um, you can see the great detail on it, the leather, the way it shines, you, you can see like, it's. It's just crazy, like made out of different detail, but it is kind of a plastic rubberish detail. Very cool. I do like the shadings around the eyes, gives it a, a mean look. Even right there, how he looks like he's he's a mean devil or a demon. Uh, his ears come out of here, obviously, and the pointy the pointy uh, horns. Very cool, man. I, I do love the detail on this. And see right there, this is very cool. Look at him, Matt Murdock himself. He looks crazy. Is he old or he's just? you know getting hit so many times are those scars either way i mean it has great detail even his eyes are like white like you know like he's he's blind when he got hit by the chemicals or this could probably be the damage from the chemicals when it hit his eyes as a kid i don't know but other than that it looks great it even has like a five o'clock shadow you can see the the pores on his skin his lips look kind of like kind of puppy right like mm, like he's doing the the duck face kind of right that's what kind of reminds me of but i mean it even so i mean it looks like he has great detail he has like a strong strong face like bone structure you can see right there even his chin is like a stone chin even the hair on this is well sculpted it's like it's like not even part of the head it's like a different you know different part that they added onto the sculpt which gives it realism very cool you can see he's like has the red hair and also has like the brown shading onto it nice detail this is the first figure from NECA from the fourth scale that you could actually uh, switch heads i think so that's a pretty cool add-on. See right there, the bottom is red, that's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, that's excellent, man, look at that. I'll put this head on in a second so you can check it out. And now let's check out the, the hands. You see right there, has scuffs on that as well. Has a little metal plates right there on the knuckles, beating the hell out of his enemies. This one probably holds something, so you can see right there. Very cool, look at that. Okay, and next look at this hand. This hand looks a little different, like his pinky's in. Has a pinky finger in. And he has one where he could hold something here too, so I'm not sure if the baton like stops there and it goes out or... I'm not sure why the pinky stops right there. I mean, I could probably make him hold something right now and see how that works. He holds it like that, or... hmm. Not sure, but I know I'll find out, I'll find out sooner or later, but yeah, it's kind of a weird sculpt for a hand. You can see scuffs in the middle right there too. And of course, uh, like I already showed this, you can put something in the hand right there. So these are the ones that you put, you know, the weapons inside, the pole weapons right there. This is cool, it's like talk to the hand right there. Now this is like when he's uh, jumping through the air trying to grab on something maybe. It looks very cool, I do love this hand right there. Probably compose it with a lot of cool things with this. Has scuffs on there as well. See his metal knuckles right there as well. Looks pretty good, you can see the seams of the leather. Very well detailed. Excellent, not bad, nice glove. And also these, these things are so cool. Watch you about to see in a second here, it's down here. These things are so cool man, the weapon, how you can change the weapon metal batons and these are very very how do you say it you could change on what kind of weapon he's going to put but uh first let's take a look at this one um 
You can see right there, I thought there were scuff marks, but when you take a closer look at it, they're probably uh, symbols of some sort, right? Like Japanese symbols, maybe? I don't know. Or are they just scuff marks? Maybe they're scuff marks because they're, they're at the end right here. So he's always hitting people in the head, you know. I guess, or I'm not sure. I'll take a look at that anyways. But uh, there's someone here too. Probably just scuff marks then. You see right there. Cool. So you can use them as, you know, as two screamers right there. And also the cool thing is that with this, you can now change it to a bow staff by connecting it. Uh, where do you connect it? Right here. So bam, now he has a bow staff. Very cool, excellent. And let's see, take this out. Put it right here. And actually, if you probably connect it right here, now it becomes a walking, a walking cane, or not walking cane, but like a walking stick, where you know where people, where they walk and they kind of see if they knock into things. You know, awesome, man. Very cool, very versatile. If you tell me, so it's very cool. Um, also, you could actually. This is a cool part right here. So take a take a look at this. Uh, first, here's the short, the short, how do you say it, short string nunchucks. Put right, uh, where is it, right here? You see, and the cool thing is like a metal bendy wire, so that's very cool, so that's like a short, you know, short range. It's awesome right there, very cool, very well detailed, look at that. So that's for short nunchucks. Take this out. And if you want it longer, here's a longer ended nunchuck. Look at that. See, how cool is that? I mean, from short to long. So awesome, man. Cool. Take these out. See the metal bendy wire right there. And also, I think one of the coolest things is this, his grappling hook. It's an extremely long wire. Which I found, which I find very cool. See right there. Uh, it's getting tangled up, my goodness. See right there, there's a grappling hook. See, it goes on to building or latch on to stuff. And you just put this end part right here. And bam, there you go. Now you got his grappling hook. Uh, the thing is, this bendy wire ain't too, um, it's not really too poseable. Well, I guess it is, but it seems too stringy. And also, like, the ending is, the end is too heavy. So I don't know how it's going to look like when I pose it on him. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely check that out. Ah, everything's getting tangled now. But, yeah, we'll check that out. And there he is with the alternate head with the unmasked Matt Murdock. And I have him here, like, with his uh, walking stick. And he's trying to, you know, feel stuff around him. But, uh, yeah, the alternate head looks very cool. You know, I, I could probably have him, like... You know, eventually holding onto his mask or something like that, looking all depressed or whatever. But uh, yeah, the head sculpt looks awesome with this. It goes very well. His his hair kind of hangs in the back of the collar, so it's excellent. Loving the head sculpt. And just for a size comparison, there he is, 18 inches tall, about 18 inches, fourth scale. And here's his uh, six inch uh, Marvel Legends uh, figure. So you kind of get you know how huge this character is. So. You can pretty much step on him, so he, or it could be like his kid or his baby or whatever. You get the idea. So what do you guys think of this collectible? Think it's worth getting? I pretty much love this one by far. I can't wait to put it next to my other collectibles. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So please uh, like, subscribe, and also uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And thank you so much for watching. And I guess I hope to see you in my next video. So live long game on and peace out.